Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a curtain wall that has a custom profile or a custom shape. So I'm going to select my curtain wall tool, I'm going to draw out let's say a 20 meter long wall, let's say 5 meters high, and then I'm going to place a section right below it and I'm facing the wall. I'm going to open it. And now I'm gonna. There's a few methods for doing this. Um, let's let me show you the classical method. But this one I find that it doesn't always work. Let's see if this time it does. So I'm gonna select my fill tool and I'm gonna draw out a shape for this curtain wall. Once I did that, I'm gonna select both the curtain wall and the fill. I'm gonna go to design. Modify curtain wall, boundary editing in section, redefine boundary from fill. As you see, this time it didn't work. I'm not sure why. If any of you guys know why, please let me know in the comments below. But sometimes it works and the curtain wall gets the shape of the fill. I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. An easier way that always works is the one I'm going to show you now. I'm going to select my morph tool and I'm going to draw out a shape that will leave the fill part out. So I'm going to have it like this and this is the morph that we have. I'm going to go in my 3D view and this is what we have. Then I'm going to select my morph tool I'm gonna select this push-pull option and I'm gonna drag it past the curtain wall. Okay, I'm gonna create a new layer. So, new, invisible. I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna make it wireframe. And this I'm gonna place on that layer. So, invisible this is what we have and now I'm gonna go to design solid element operations I'm gonna select the curtain wall I'm gonna say get target elements I'm gonna select this morph and I'm gonna say get operator elements and I'm gonna click on subtraction and I'm gonna uh, out of these options I will just leave subtraction because this is what we need for this case and I'm gonna hit execute and this is what we have and now I'm gonna go to my layers and just completely close off the invisible layer so this is what we have the other option that uh, and now you can just uh, create another morph to have an edge for this curtain wall so let me show you how you can do that I'm gonna go back to my section I'm gonna draw out a line that follows the shape of this wall and I'm gonna uh, copy it first then paste it and then I'm gonna offset it by I'm gonna offset it by let's say 0 0.6 oh, 0 0.06 and now I'm gonna close off these ending pieces over here and also over here now I'm gonna select my morph tool and here we have it so I'm gonna go back in my 3d view this I'm gonna drag all the way over here and then I'm gonna do the push and pull again to have a thicker this you can control better maybe in 2D view once you have everything 
drawn out so you can now go in your 2d view and place it right where you want it so now it is right on the edge of the curtain wall this would be drawn out automatically if the first met method that I showed you would have worked but the this method with the solid element operation works every single time no matter what crazy shape you make for your curtain wall so yeah and uh, once you're done you can also keep modifying your curtain wall so maybe this scheme you're gonna do it a bit differently and it will always update and it will work just fine so yeah I hope this video helps you and if you have any video requests please leave them in the comments below okay bye